Hi everyone, welcome to Sonali's Home Foods. Today we are making yummy and cheesy baked macaroni and cheese. People who know me know that I was not a very huge macaroni and cheese fan. I did prepare it for my kids and their friends, but I used to get the store what mac and cheese packs and followed the instructions. But ever since I started preparing it this way, not only do I enjoy preparing it, but I also enjoy eating it. Well, do give it a try and let me know if you like it. I have given the list of ingredients in the description box below. So let's get started. First, let's take four cups of milk and warm it a little bit. There is no need to boil it; we'll just warm it a little. Now, in the big pot, take ten to twelve cups of water, cover it, and bring it to boil. I will put this pot on another burner now and let it boil. Till then, meanwhile, we will take another pot on this burner and. Heat it on the medium heat. Add four tablespoons of butter and let it melt. Once the butter has melted, let's add three fourth cups of whole wheat flour. You can also use all-purpose flour. Now stir it or whisk it for at least three to four minutes till it's light brown in color. Stir continuously. And make sure that the flame is not too high. Keep it on medium or low side. And keep stirring continuously. And now meanwhile, our water that we have kept in another pot has started boiling. So let's add one tablespoon of oil and salt to taste. And now let's add one packet of macaroni. In this packet, which I have, it's uh, it has uh, some three and a half cup of macaroni. The instructions on the box say that I need to boil it for ten minutes. So let me put it on another burner and let us get back to the sauce. So this flour looks nice, light brown in color, and it's also smelling very nice. So now let's add milk. We'll add little milk at a time and whisk it. Stir continuously so that no lumps are formed. So we'll continue adding little milk at a time till all our milk is used up, and we have a nice creamy sauce. Stir continuously. Make sure no lumps are formed. Now this looks smooth. So let's add some more milk. And now let's add it all. May feel a little loose at this point, but don't worry; it will thicken up very soon. So over here now, our pasta has been boiling for last 19 minutes. So let's check it, and the pasta looks cooked. Yes, it is cooked. So let's turn off the flame, and I will drain all the hot water, rinse it in cold water, and then remove it in a baking dish. Meanwhile, our sauce is now boiling. 
and it has also thickened up. So it's nice thick. So let's turn down the flame to low. And now let's add cheese to this. So now I'm adding one cup of mozzarella cheese. And one cup of cheddar cheese. You can of course add some more cheese if you like it cheesy and gooey. But this is the maximum that my conscience lets me add. So I'm just adding one teaspoon, oh sorry, one cup of uh, mozzarella and one cup of cheddar cheese. And now let's mix it well and let it melt with the sauce. You can also add some whipping cream, but uh, I don't have it at home right now, and no point in running to a grocery store just for one item in this pandemic situation. So I'm giving it a skip today. But if you have it and you like it, add it. Now let's add some salt. Not much because cheese has salt. One teaspoon of red chili powder and one and half teaspoon of black pepper powder. I'm adding one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, but it's optional, and one teaspoon of nutmeg powder freshly grated as far as possible but if you don't have fresh you can add store-bought ready-made nutmeg powder too but do add nutmeg powder because it gives wonderful flavor to this sauce now let's mix it all together and our macaroni and cheese sauce is ready if you think it is too thick right now you can add some milk to it but I think this consistency looks good to me so now I'll just remove it and keep it on side now let's preheat the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius now let's start preparing the topping and for this let's heat a pan on medium heat and add 2 tablespoons of butter to this. Keep the heat on low and let the butter melt. Once the butter has melted, let's add one and half cup of panko bread crumbs. And now let us toast it for a minute or two. If you like, you can add some herbs like oregano or parsley also in this topping mix. But personally, I like to keep it simple because I have added nutmeg to the uh, sauce. I don't want too many flavors competing with each other. I've been stirring this for one minute now and it looks lightly toasted. So let's turn off the flame and I'll continue stirring it again for a minute or so. This looks nicely toasted now. Let's remove it and keep it on side. I have put the macaroni that we had cooked in a deep baking dish. Now let's add the sauce to the macaroni. And now let us give it a nice mix. Now let's top it with the panko mix. Spread it evenly to cover the macaroni and cheese.
Now let's add some parmesan cheese on top. This is completely optional. If you like it, if you have it, add it. Otherwise, you can give it a skip. That's enough cheese. So now let's bake it in the oven for 15 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. Let's put it in the top rack because the macaroni and cheese is already cooked. We just need to cook the top layer. After 15 minutes, our creamy, cheesy, delicious macaroni cheese is ready to be served. A mom inside me had to serve it with some vegetables on the side, but you can enjoy it whichever way you like it. But I do recommend to add some fiber to this meal to make it complete. Give it a try and let me know if you like it. Don't forget to hit on the like button and do subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so. Let us meet very soon with another tasty yummy recipe. Until then, please take care and stay safe.